Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Hannah Tiga. If today is your first time visiting this channel, you're very welcome. If you've been before or you're a subscriber and you're back again, thank you so much for coming again. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed guys, consider subscribing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a very simple circle sleeve or you can call it a flare sleeve so let's get started so first of all you want to make sure the fabric you're using will be enough for the sleeve you're gonna be making so you want to start by folding your fabric over like this and once you've done that you want to give it a second fold and fold it over again so making two times that you folded it now, make sure the fabric you're going to be using is enough for the sleeve you're making, especially the length of the sleeve you're making. That's very important, guys. Once you've done that, you would have a fold like that. And once you've done that, you want to take your tape roll and start measuring the length of your sleeve, starting from that point that angle right so I'm gonna be working with sleeve length 8 inches so the sleeve length I'm working on is 8 inches you can decide to go with 10 or 12 whatever you want make sure you've got enough fabric for the length of the sleeve you want it's very important you want to keep on making the marking till you get to the other hand of the fabric or pattern paper. So once you finish making the markings, you want to connect them together like that. If you're not sure um, you, you can make a proper circle, you can use your curve ruler to make your curve. If you can't do it by hand like I'm doing, just use your curve ruler. That's easier. So you want to take your scissors and cut. If you're not sure you could cut this directly on your fabric, get a brown paper, get your paper, you know, your white paper, and make the pattern first before you transfer it to your fabric. So you want to cut gently all the way around. Be careful when you're cutting, guys. Once you finish cutting, you want to open it up and we have our circle. Your circle should be like this. And you want to go ahead and draw lines across. You want to make uh, two lines basically, like a cross. So once you finish drawing your lines, you want to either go with any line, guys, it's the same thing. So you want to take two and a half inches, you want to make a marking down, yeah. And once you make that marking, you want to go on the right side and take another two and a half, make a marking, and go on the left side and make another marking of two and a half inches. And once you do that, you want to go from the two and a half inches you've already taken on that line and come down another two and a half inches. From the midpoint of the circle, if you connect everything together, it should form another circle. You can use your curved ruler instead of drawing with your hand. But here I'm just drawing freehandedly. You can use your curve ruler to give you that perfect circle. So you want to go ahead and draw that perfect circle, guys. Like I said, use your curve ruler to give you that perfect circle. Once you've done that, you want to check the ham hole if it's exactly what you want. For example, the ham hole I'm working with is 16. 
so you want to go all the way around to see if it's 16 if the ham hole you're working with is you know 18 you want to adjust the ham hole to 18 Here we go guys, so this is 16, exactly 16 what I need, right? So I'm going to go ahead now and cut that circle. First of all, you want to snip it in the middle and start cutting. Be very careful when you're cutting. Circles can be hard to cut. You have to be very patient. Once you finish cutting, your sleeve pattern should look like this. Before I go ahead and cut the sleeve on a fabric, I want to say if we had gone in the middle to make the circle, the sleeve wouldn't be properly balanced. You would have the outer sleeve shorter and the inner sleeve, you know, longer. So that's why the circle is best on that side. If you have a very delicate fabric, you have to be careful. And make sure it's properly clipped down, pinned down. You can place an object on it to avoid moving. So here is our sleeve ready to be attached to any garment, a top or a dress. So you need to attach that. That's the ham hole there. And here is the finished look guys. I haven't stitched this together but this is a demonstration of how it will look on any top or blouse thank you so much guys for watching i hope you've learned one or two things in this video again remember to subscribe like share comment and remember to press that notification bell so you get notified as soon as i post any video see you in my next video but till then guys look after yourself and bye for now